Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Habita fillah Listen to this narration of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam Hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam That was graded Hassan Showing us the importance of not disputing in religious matters Especially with regards to the Qadr Don't get into debates or anything, learn as much as you can about the Qadr and know that it is a, a one of the pillars of Iman and that it is something we know only about as far as what was described by the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's, that's it we don't have other extensive knowledge about the decree of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and we believe in it, we accept it and we leave it and we don't dispute and argue and debate about it and likewise, this is a qaida for many things in the deen. Not to get excessive and go try to go deeper than the salaf did. Stop where the salaf stopped. Stop where the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een stopped about these issues. If it is something Allah didn't mention further, and the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam didn't detail, then don't try to make things more difficult upon people. And confuse yourself and confuse others and get into debates and disputes and cut one another off and cause harm instead of good and cause confusion instead of clarity and cause people to even leave the religion because of disputes because then they will begin to philosophize and go into other ideologies to rectify and getting clear what they believe is clarity Amr ibn Shu'ayb narrated from his father that his grandfather said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came out to his companions when they were disputing about the divine decree and it was as if a pomegranate seed <coughs> had burst on his face or pomegranate seeds plural because of the anger he said have you been commanded to do this or were you created for this purpose? You are using one part of the Qur'an against another part. And this is what led to the doom of the nations who came before you. Abdullah ibn Amr said, I was never happy to have missed a gathering with the Messenger of Allah وسلم, as I was to have missed that gathering. Why? And this is because he did not want to do anything the Sahaba did not ever want to see any discomfort, any anger, anything from the Messenger of Allah So he was glad that he missed that gathering, that he wasn't blameworthy <coughs> to have fallen into dispute about these issues. So it shows us, Sahaba Tibillah, that we have to be cautious 